Three years after the pandemic started, the crisis in the classroom continues at SAISD. Declining enrollment and lack of teachers are the two big issues plaguing the district. As News 4 San Antonio's Marisa Mendoza reports, SAISD superintendent says he is committed to getting teachers higher pay. Tensions run high at SAISD as teachers and staff let the administration know they want more pay. We spoke to a student in the district who says he hopes they get what they deserve. My teacher would buy suits for students and simply out of her money because we don't have the, they don't have the money. High school junior Ramiro Lopez attends Fox Tech High School in SAISD. It worries him good teachers like Jennifer Casanova may go if they don't get the pay they deserve. She is a huge, huge inspiration to not just myself, but she gave me the confidence to run for youth governor, then become secretary of state. It's a tough time for district officials who have watched enrollment drop and quality teachers either retire or leave. Earlier this week, teachers advocated for higher pay at the board of trustees meeting. If we do not get a raise, Many of our employees are one paycheck away from losing their homes and their vehicles. Even District 5 Councilwoman Terry Castillo made clear change is needed. We know when our teachers receive and support staff receive that quality pay, I'm more, more likely to retain them. Superintendent Jaime Aquino says SAISD teachers make about $37 an hour. He's made it his mission to get teachers more money. I cut already $16 million in central office. We're cutting another $10 million this this year. We're going to have to look and think very strategically because I tell you that our, our teachers and the staff deserve more money. Money that students like Lopez knows goes right back to students. Even if the money they do make, it goes directly back into the classroom. Near downtown Marisa Mendoza, News 4, San Antonio.